In this video I'm going to show you how to create a green screen video using the iPad app Green Screen by Doink. Once you've gone into the Green Screen app to create a new project you just need to press the add button in the top right hand corner and then select create a new project. And then once you're inside the app you'll notice that there's a video timeline here at the bottom which has three separate channels to it. And what you'll basically need to do is add a video to this middle channel here and then add a background image underneath it to this channel here and then that will add the image behind the actual video so it will appear that that person is within that actual place. Now here you'll be able to see what the video actually looks like as you're making it. Now obviously just make sure that you've got the video option selected rather than image so if for whatever reason that's selected then obviously just press on video. So I'm going to start by adding in my video so as I say, the video needs to go in this middle channel here. So I'm going to press on this add button in the middle. And there's two ways that you can do it. If you press on the camera button here, then you can just record the video directly from within the app. So if you've got your green screen set up and, you, and your subjects in front of it, then you can just press the camera button and just record directly. Or another way of doing it, which I you tend to do instead, is record the video separately save it to the camera roll and then add it in from your camera roll. So that's what I'm going to do in this example as well. So I'm just going to press on the video button there and that will just basically bring up the videos uh, that are saved to the iPad. And then I'm just going to find the video that I recorded earlier, which is this one. And just press the use button just to add it in. And then that will add the video to, to that middle channel there. Uh, the video, by the way, was just filmed in front of a big green piece of cloth that we have in school. Um, you could use green backing paper. Yeah, you could even paint the walls green if you wanted to. As long as you've got something that's green um, and good lighting as well always helps. Um, but as long as it's green, uh, it will work. Now, obviously, what I'll need to do now is add in the background image to go with it as well. So in this video, he's talking about space and he's giving some different facts about space. So what I've done is I've saved a couple of different space images uh, to the camera roll of the iPad. So I'm going to add uh, the first one in. So I'm going to press on the add button underneath and I'm going to select image and then I'm just going to find the first image that I want to add in as the background. So I'll just save them in a folder there. And I'm just going to add this one in first so just press on it and then just press the use button again and then that will just add the image in. And you'll notice that there's still a little bit of green showing. So and what you just need to do is just select the video again first. So just press on the video just to select that. And then that will automatically have the chroma filter on. And then what you can do is if you just use this slider, uh, sensitivity slider here, that just adjusts the amount of green that it lets past. So because there's still a little bit of green showing, if I just slide that up slightly, that will take that green out of it. So can adjust that so it looks a bit clearer and a bit a bit sharper. Now when I press the play video now to watch it and, and it, you can preview in this window here it should look a bit more like he's in space. Pluto is the biggest planet. Pluto is the smallest planet and very cold. Now you'll notice as it got to that point there obviously the, the image then disappeared because the image is, is set uh, within the settings just to stay on for five seconds. I'll just show you how I did that actually. If we just go back into projects, what I first uh, tend to, tended to find, I'll just go press on that cog button there, what I found when I first started an, adding images in, if you just have it unlimited length, the image can be really, really long and if your video is not very long, it makes it very difficult to match up the video length and the image length. So I always, within the settings, just have it selected so that the image that you add in uh, it lasts for five seconds of the video. But what that means then, obviously, I'll just go back into the video, is that you'll just need to stretch the image to match up with, with the video. So if you're going to use all of this image within that video, all you'd need to do is just select the image, and then you'll notice the little white squares appeared here, and then I just need to drag across. It is a little bit fiddly, this. It's easier if you've got a, a stylus pen. It tends to work a bit better. But you can just drag the image across so that it matches up with the length of the video. Oops, a bit too far. 
and then I'll just go back to the beginning. So now when I press play, that background image will obviously be on for the whole of the video. Now you can have more than one image as well. So at about 20 seconds into the video, he starts to talk about the planet uh, Venus. So if I just move the, the playhead to 20 seconds, and I can add in an image and that image will, will start from that point there. So if I just go to the add button again, we'll just find the image of, of Venus. So just press on image. Uh, perhaps I don't think it was Venus, I think it was the moon actually. I'm going to select the moon image instead. Just press use. And then you'll see that that's added that image at that point there. And again, you see it's not quite matching up in length. So I can just slide that across and match it up. So if I play it now, let's go back to the beginning. And this is what it looks like. Now, once you've finished the video, you can just press on the save button uh, to save it. And then it will start to process the video. And then this little window will pop up. And then if you want to save it to the camera roll, you can just save it straight to the camera roll. Or if you just want to watch it again, just to check it first, you can do that. But I'm just going to save it straight to the camera roll. and. If you save it as medium, that will export obviously slightly quicker. Um, if you select the HD, it will obviously be a better quality. It'll just take a bit longer uh, to export, but it's not a particularly long video anyway. So I'm going to save it in HD. And obviously, it's always nicer for it to look better as well. And then it's saying now that it's saved, so I can just come out of there and I can just check. So I'm just going to my photos, and yeah, there's the video there, ready to watch or ready to share so if I want to upload it to Dropbox or any other shared area I can I can do that as well